And they're one of my favourite bands. One of my favourite groups. We're going to Japan. We're going to Japan. Hi ho the Mario. We're going to Japan. When I ask people about the the, the red hot chili peppers, it's always, yeah, I feel like uh, I feel like they're part of me and I'm part of them, yeah, rather than a, that, it's something that I'm buying. That's you know, about the greatest compliment that I think that we can yeah. ever get. You think about your life. You know, you come into the world uh, with nothing. Yeah. You leave with nothing. Yeah. So your life is like a parenthesis in eternity. Yeah. That's it. Okay. This is what you get while you're here. And the only thing you can do with your life is give it away. Ingrained in a lot of millennials' DNA. At some point they've heard or listened to or enjoyed so many of their songs. Over the years. Long career, long career. Um, but that's what legendary groups do. And reading the book you get more of an insight into that. Their way of life. I can't take it seriously with these sunglasses. Oh, no, no, no. I can't no, even no. sing. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Trying to copy those sunglasses. Spot on right here. If you like me, dress up. I mean, well, to make this video, I was inspired a little bit by Pretty Pie, who makes who recently made a video all about like it was like a book review but it reminded me that I've been reading this book lately this Red Hot Chili Peppers Anthony Kalidis story and I thought why not why not talk about it um, I mean a few weeks back I saw this documentary it's an older documentary about the the band who would win in the wrestling match me or Aki Bono Chad Rowan is his real name, incidentally. How much is 245 kilos? 500 and some odd pounds? Uh, the Californication era. It's like when they toured Japan or somewhere. Uh, I know it's quite old. Um, I'll put a few clips in here. Um, but as you can see, uh, first up, I'm going to show you the book. So yeah, this is the front cover. Uh, you can see him on the front in one of his weird poses. He's like, Always topless, you know, you know the guy. Uh, Scar Tissue is a good name for the book as well. Of course, one of their famous songs um, shown here. <laughs> no copyright, I hope. Um, but yeah, it's one of the. I mean, the title, like I said, it's one of their songs, but it does make sense because he has got a lot of like, scars from his past um, with, in terms of family, like trouble with the family. Um, times he spent with his dad, good and bad. Well, um, this guy grew up quick, let's just say that. I wouldn't say he ever, you wouldn't, you can't really say he grew up, but he went through a lot of, like, there was a lot of drug use in his younger days. Um, but you see nowadays, like, like I said earlier, how is he still alive? He's in form, like, um, they look after themselves now, all, all the group. I mean, one of the early, original band members did quite a tense time in his life, he'd been through a lot young age he had a proper love life like on and off um, he's always talking about that in the book and you you think back to some of the titles of the songs some of the songs they've done over the years um, when you read the book you you can associate with those titles but yeah I learned a lot reading this book I mean the amount of mistakes he made and then got through it somehow and he's still you know he's still got this band together and so much success it always starts from difficult things with anyone in this situation. Yes, some people, like, they're born into a family of music and all that. His family were really creative. Um, his dad was an actor. Um, he started that as a drug dealer, though. It spoke about your uh, history of drug addiction the other day and how you yourself up. It's the challenge of a lifetime for mm -hmm. sure. Um, but I'm, you know, I'm pretty grateful for the challenge. Because uh, without it, you know, I think I may have never been uh, privileged to discover. So, 
a 12 year old Anthony Kalidis on the streets with him. Um, but I, I'm enjoying this book, I haven't finished it yet. I do recommend it um, if you're a fan of the band or if you're a big music fan. It depends really, I mean even if you're not that familiar with the band, you will be after this book. I mean, I've got, me I've got memories of them for, well, I always imagine like the early 2000s, 90s version, because that's when they really did it for me, if you know what I mean. I like their latest album as well, to be honest, two years ago. Um, Dark Necessities, good video as well. So what, what a basis look on today. <laughs> a few more reviews of books in the future. This is just a standalone one about Anthony Kalidis and RHCP, as they like to be called Red Hot Chili Peppers. And that just about does it. I'm going to call it there. Peace out, fam. See you on the next vlog. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs>